1926 and 1926 proudly adorn the facade of Glenside Wellman. It is because those who built the school and the community as a whole intended these buildings to stand for all time. There's a reason why there's a Facebook page that now has approximately 500 followers dedicated to saving Glenside Wellman, a school that has no current students, and yet the town is collectively rallying around the symbol of our community because it's the only school where three generations of families all studied within the same walls. There are some who view and measure success through various awards and display them proudly and predominantly, but there are, these awards are temporary and are trumped by new awards each year. As such, there is a larger and more permanent number of people who view and measure success and pride in the legacy of their history and the unique aspects of their schools and towns. I want to work with the Abington School Board, not against it, and I feel that most here would agree that they have excelled with regard to classes, curriculum, testing, educational standards, and the like. But let's consider that these are issues which could be reversed. However, with regard to the demolition of historic structures, there is no going back. At one of the first meetings that I attended, we were told that the district must notify the community when they are intending to close the school. And if I'm not mistaken, we were told that 150 announcement letters were sent out. On my street alone, which is only three blocks in length, there are over 50 houses. And we do not have any record of receiving such a letter. And I'm just one block from the school. The reason I bring this up now is to reinforce the consideration that the community and people of the town still do not have a clear understanding of the situation at the present time. I was also surprised to learn that any time a building of this age is removed, a historical assessment must be conducted in cases where the district is receiving funding and support from the state and or federal sources. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the district is not seeking any subsidies and therefore such an independent historical assessment has never been conducted with the exception of the construction companies who potentially stand to profit from certain decisions. There are state funds available for schools looking to upgrade and modernize old buildings, though I have not heard of any cases where these options have been explored in previous meetings or otherwise. Instead, the district is seeking to foot the bill on their own without state or federal funds in the form of future tax increases to Abington residents. And this is ironic to me because the cost of pricing has been a primary reason given by the district to support the agenda of demolition. But yet, if we're doing so well here in Abington that we do not need or want additional funding for whatever reason, Shouldn't we also have enough capital to support the preservation of the historic part of our school system? I want to be able to look back and say that I personally did everything I could to support the cause for conservation of the historical legacy of our school and our town, for which I am proud. I, and many like myself, want to be on the right side of history. I expect our numbers will grow as time passes, especially if we find ourselves living through two long-term construction zones instead of one, followed by having a historic and untouched block of our town saddled with a less permanent new school built with inferior materials. I asked the board when the academic awards and recognition inevitably fade in the minds of the people of Glenside while the memory of Glenside Weldon remains, which side of history will you be remembered? I implore the school board of 2014-15 to consider and exercise every reasonable option to save the historic portions of the school. Upgrade, revise, renovate wherever possible. Maintain the original uh, buildings as offices, administration, or other. Where there is a will, there is a way. The citizens of Glenside will long remember this critical decision and we will be living with the consequences. In lieu of the new developments, i.e. the board agreeing to revisit the matter and consider preserving some of the original structures and facade as recently as November of 2013, coupled with the fact that the last school board meeting set for December 10th was inexplicably canceled, I hereby request that this decision, item 23 on the agenda, be formally tabled and postponed to a later date to allow more time to examine the latest facts and figures, as well as to fully update and educate the community on the realities surrounding this action. Most importantly, to review and consider the new and latest findings received by the board, the advisors of the board, and potentially presented here tonight regarding, regarding potential plans for renovations and upgrades. I just want to thank you all who came out here tonight to support this cause, and thank the board for their time and consideration. Thank you for your comments.